What's up, Divine Feminine? How's it going, girlfriends? Okay, so um, this is going to be a reading for April the 12th until the 20th, 2017. So I'm going to be doing a Divine Partnership reading. Um, so split in two. So that will be nine cards in total. And I will be using the John Holland Psychic Tarot as well as um, my cards. So let me just give those a quick shuffle. Plus I'll be using Call It Bear and Read Enchanted Map for a message from the universe. And I've already shuffled them pretty good. Okay. So, um, how do you view love and relationship? How do you view this partnership with the Divine Masculine. Two of Pentacles. So this is making a decision. This is the wind of change. Um, so while this decision is occurring, um, there's a sense of feeling imbalanced. Um, so Spirit is asking you to find the now. Um, be the witness. Uh, step out of the chaos and, um, you know, find that balance within, uh, be resilient and bend with the wind. Ace of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, and the Tower. So Ace of Pentacles, this showed up in the Divine Masculine recent past position. Um, the Two of Pentacles was also a theme. So this is making a decision, um, and while that decision is transforming your environment in the 3D, um, you know, there's finding that balance and allowing that change to occur. So what is this decision and, and what is this change? Um, the Ace of Pentacles, again, showed up in the recent past. So um, a seed was planted, an intention was planted and grounded in 3D. So this is a gift from the universe. It's a brand new beginning in the 3D. So that seed has been planted. That decision has been made. And as a result, um, significant changes are occurring in your environment. You've already made the decision um, which path to choose. And it has to do with destiny. This is the Wheel of Fortune, destiny. Um, so destiny has a plan for you. So it's a completion of a cycle of five to ten years. And it's good karma. So what you put out, you get back. What goes around, comes around. And it's coming back to you in a good way. So the Ace of Pentacles represents good fortune and good luck. Um, so you've, you, know, you feel that the decision was made. Um, and... You're allowing that change, again, to transform you. And because you're allowing that change, it is, um, you know, um, feeling, making you feel optimistic and excited about a new beginning, but at the same time, uh, uneasy. You got two change cards here, actually three. So the, uh, the tower card, this is... Um, a sudden energy it comes in like a bolt of lightning and it transforms your life drastically. So anything that was built on a faulty foundation was meant to come down. So you view this relationship with the masculine as, you know, creating this m massive transformation and change in your life. And, um, you know, that seed of intention has been laid and the cycle of completion is nearing and, uh, abundance and good luck are coming towards you and uh, it requires the tower to come down so you feel that the relationship with the masculine um, is a new start and but it requires a tower so I haven't had to yours is the last reading I did the twin flame first and then the masculine so I haven't had to pull any further clarification cards, but of course you girls are so complex. Oh, 
So I'm going to pull an Osho card for you and see what that means. I mean, overall, um, you're very grounded is what I'm seeing here. And also notice this is an ace, so it's a one, and then the ten, so that's an eleven, and then the, you know that tower, that massive, massive transformation. Um, decisions being made and grounding this new start, but ultimately destiny is um, carving your life out, you know, and giving you the gifts that you deserve. So, you know, release the tower, be the conscious observer. Okay, so Osho, adventure, page of pentacles. A new beginning, adventure. So normally this, you know, in the right awake deck, it represents um, communication in the 3D. Um, let me just find the page number first here, 78. But it also represents making plans for this goal that you want to achieve in the 3D. And, um, you know, laying it out. Oh, God, I forgot the, the page number. I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> okay, 78. Thank you for having patience with me, ladies. Love you guys so much. Okay, so when we are truly in the spirit of adventure, we are moving just like this child, full of trust out of the darkness of the forest into the rainbow of light. Yeah, we go step by step, drawn by our sense of wonder into the unknown. Adventure really has nothing to do with it, with plans, maps, programs and organizations. The page of rainbow represents a quality that can come to us anywhere, at home or in the office, in the wilderness or in the city, in a creative project or in our relationship with others. Whenever we move into the new and unknown uh, with the trusting spirit of a child, innocent and open and vulnerable, even the smallest things of life can become the greatest adventures. Wow! Okay, that is beautiful confirmation of, you know, this change, this new beginning and walking into the rainbow of colors, you know, walking into that unknown. It's fear, you know, it's scary, uh, but trusting that destiny has your back. That is so freaking perfect. Okay, so let me just move these down a bit. Um, what? It, what are you resisting? Nine of Wands, spiritual strength. The masculine got this in his present position. Um, you you feel like you're wavering. Um, the, this is a wounded warrior. It's being through a lot of battles and you know wanting to give up and walk away. But spirit is saying you know you have that inner strength to give it that final push. So you're resisting this. You're resisting putting the wands down. You're resisting finding that inner Buddha, finding stillness, finding strength from within in order to give it that final push. So nine, nearing the completion of that. Six of Cups. King of Cups. And the Sun card. Wow. Six of Cups. Um, this is a reunion. Someone from your past coming back. Um, somebody, you know, from your childhood or young, young adulthood or even a past life. So, someone coming back into your life that represents love, but in its purest form. And that's what this card represents as well. And this as well. It's all purity. It's all happy feels and deep love. Um, so again, back to this. Uh, the love is innocent and it's pure. So sharing that love with someone and then having you know them um, come back to your, your into your life in some way um, to awaken that innocence within you, that childness. Um, 
so the king of cups um, again this came up in the twin flame reading it's the pinnacle of love it is being completely open to giving and receiving love and uh, the love is deep innocent and pure um, someone who has complete mental control also could be intuitive as well the Sun card is the best major arcana to get it's all the good feels it is um, abundance playfulness excitement celebration a brand new beginning of life seeing the world through a child's eyes um, so it's a return to innocence and this kind of re um, has that feeling as well returning to that innocent pure love so you're resisting this so maybe you're resisting um, you know fully opening your heart allowing that energy to come in I don't know um, spiritual strength you are maybe wavering um, giving up hope uh, that this king of love your true love will come back to you although you know on a deep level that this is a, a spiritual connection in the sun we are one that's uh, isn't that um, a lyric from Kurt Cobain that's crazy I just noticed that connection now okay so what um, is a message from your higher self Wow divine feminine twin flame so you are like on a very deep underlying knowing you are the Empress the divine feminine twin flame um, and you're listening to your higher self your intuition um, this card also represents manifesting things you know um, she is the creator so it could have to do with um, you know creative type things art um, or actually you know birthing things into the 3d on a physical level so yeah this um, she has her heart chakra wide open so she is accepting and you know the goddess of love so you are holding this open space for your masculine that is unconditional love nine of swords ten of swords ten of pentacles that's interesting I when I shuffle these cards um, initially I take all the cards and I put them into you know I kind of shuffle like this basically and then on camera I will I will go like that so I, I always make sure that these cards are separate so it's interesting that these two cards are coming up um, in the same sequence um, so these two cards showed up in the foundation uh, for the twin flame reading the masculine got the nine of swords and the feminine got the ten she also got the ten of wands but it's interesting that it's replaced with the ten of pentacles so um, nine of swords is being consumed with anxiety worry guilt fear uh, creating that mental prison from for your mind but it isn't an oppressive energy coming from the outside it's self-imposed you are doing this to yourself you are staying up at night and worrying um, about you know the relationship or the union that kind of thing so you know your higher self is telling you to put that to an end now you know let go of those last little bits of fear anxiety guilt shame this is a dark night of the soul 10 completion 
And from that completion will come this happy ending. This is that uh, final resting place, that long-term goal. Earth energy and earth energy air. So these are just thoughts. You're grounding this long-term vision and goal in the future as a result of the seed that was already planted. So let go of those last little bits of fear. Give it that one final push. Lots of beginnings and completions. Okay, so recent past position, light, the sun again. Best major arcana, being in the light. Um, all the good feels. The sun also represents masculine energy. Well, the moon is feminine. Wow, twin flame. Wow, four wands. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so for some, the reason why you felt like you were in the sun um, is because you met your twin flame. Um, recognizing your light in another, you know, your reflection, your mirror, and wanting that union. So this is l longing for union. The Four of Wands, I use this as a twin flame calling card in the John Holland deck to represent, you know, um, that 1111 um, happy ending. And it has to do with spirituality, which is awesome. Um, so, in your recent past, you had this connection, you met your twin, um, you felt this bliss. Uh, the Four of Wands represents, you know, uh, engagement, marriage, um, buying a home. It's a new beginning that is exciting, you know, feels passion and desire. It has to do with, you know, your higher calling, your higher purpose. So it awakens you. Um, awakens your spirituality and that's what twin flame uh, union is all about awakening you to higher levels of consciousness so you feel super successful about that being in the light uh, lots of fire energy so who is this twin flame well that's your your mirror so this is a high priest um, so this is the Divine Masculine in his 5D. You know, it's, um, he's con connected through the collective, um, through source to you at all times, and he's offering you, you know, guidance. So the reason why you felt in the light was because of this um, knowing on a very deep soul level that you've met your twin because of the way it made you come alive and how it awakened you to, you know, made you realize that you're connected to something much larger than yourself. Your true authentic self. Okay, your present position, disruption, the tower again. So remember you got that in how you view the relationship. So you feel like um, the tower is crumbling you feel like you know there's a major change going on in your environment or within you so this is releasing your attachments um, to the 3d world as well as to outcomes um, so anything built on a faulty foundation was meant to come down so let's see what this is about justice knight of wands Ace of Swords. So, Justice, um, the karmic card. So, it's the cosmic balancing scale. What you put out, you get back. Cause and effect. So, this tower um, will come back to you in a good way if you allow it to come down. So, again, be that conscious observer behind the tower. Release your attachments to the outcome. The Knight of Wands is a
fast fiery movement forward it's a blast out of the gate towards your destiny towards your goal um, and there's no stopping you so there's a sense that you made a decision that has to do with your truth and you want to move forward on it but the tower needs to fall first or you are allowing that tower to fall in order to find that strength and courage to go after your destiny the thing that makes you come alive and passionate so ace of swords is a decision uh, to do that to allow the tower to fall and to um, move towards your destiny and because you made that decision karma will come back to you in a good way so this is triumph and success it's victory it's um, a decision grounded cutting through the darkness cutting through the barriers releasing anything in this material world that is holding you back not letting anything hold you back anymore future outcome Wow, full card again. So this was an outcome for the masculine tw on the twin flame reading. Um, page of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and Queen of Pentacles. So, full card, brand new beginning. Uh, taking that leap of faith, leaving your old life behind. Um, so this comes after the tower, from the tower comes a rebirth brand new be beginning so this is taking that leap of faith it's making that decision to finally walk away towards your rainbow of colors so here we go finding that strength for that new beginning the page of swords is making that decision mentally making that decision it's clarity of thought um, it also has to do with you know, calculating, um, making a strategy. It's not like the Page of Pentacles where the Page of Pentacles puts actual work into the 3D, you know, uh, grounding their thoughts, um, working long term in the material world. But the this is all about thought, clarity of thought, having ideas and, you know, inventions, that kind of thing, but actually holding on to those ideas and making a decision. Uh, he's also a double communicator, so pages are messengers and he's, swords are about communication. So communicating um, your truth. Okay, so the five of pentacles, that shooting yourself in the foot in order to release yourself from something and which uh, will require some form of hardship. So um, this also represents being left out in the cold. So I like to see it as releasing yourself from the material world. It's actually, you know, shooting the chain off your ankle and taking that leap of faith to your, you know, it's freedom. Even though, it re you know, there will be a sense of loss as a result, it's worth it. You know, your freedom is worth that. So the queen, uh, the king showed up in what you're resisting position the king of cups so this is a queen of cups um, so this is you being that open vessel the queen of love this is a goddess of love um, you know you're taking that leap of faith with love in your heart to guide you even though it's scary to take that leap of faith um, you know living your life to its fullest is is worth it you know um, feeling true love um, is worth it so it's either communication comes in that releases you from a situation that allows for a new beginning or you communicate that truth and release yourself Okay, so for um, message from the universe, five of cups, emotional loss. So um, 
this is healing yourself after the tower comes down you know purging letting go of your fears um, letting go of the tears you know tears are healing rain so whenever you're attached yourself to something and you lose it then that's when you feel loss grieving pain sadness eight of pentacles six of swords and page of cups so eight of pentacles this is working hard in the 3d um, laying a foundation and continuing to build upon it so it's positive movement forward towards your destiny towards that ten of pentacles and that happy ending um, in the 3d so you're being recognized for all of the work that you've done um, all the accomplishments all the grounding energy and so the the six of swords is moving from a negative situation to a calmer um, stillness uh, so it's making that decision to finally walk away so source or spirit is saying that you know there's something in your environment that is still causing you to feel heartbroken and emotional loss and spirit is asking you to let that go um, that the you know harvest is near you worked so hard um, and now it's time to release and let go we let, uh, let go of that pain heal your heart and um, that will allow you to um, release yourself from any fears of expressing love so this is a page of cups the muse um, it's messages of love so this could be messages from the universe sending to you healing energy inspiring you um, but I'm kind of also feeling you know a way to heal your heart is to not only release that pain and, and move away from the negative but also to express yourself freely without constraint don't guard your heart um, let love be expressed okay girls I gotta pull another Osho you are so complex okay additional card please fighting okay it's a very similar similar kind of energy of being guarded closed off so maybe there are some of you out there who you know feel like giving up like this is all just an illusion um, you know you know, you're starting to guard your heart even though your higher self is telling you to let go of those fears you know and look towards the future keep your heart open because there is a new beginning um, but you're resisting allowing that tower to come down and finding that strength within to give it that final push yes this looks like an illusion it looks like it's too good to be true right so you're questioning it you know is this real or isn't it I don't know you know it's very similar energy to what I was feeling from the masculine he's questioning um, whether to trust you know and take that leap of faith as well um, and while the female you know she um, you need to release that that fear allow lo allow love in don't be guarded don't close yourself off you work so hard okay so let's see So the Knight of Swords. The figure in this card is completely covered in armor. Only his glare of rage is visible, and the whites of his knuckles on his clenched fists 
If you look closely at the armor, you can see it's covered with buttons, ready to detonate if anybody so much as brushes up against him. In the background, we see the shadowy movie that plays in the man's mind, two figures fighting for a castle. An explosive temper or a smoldering rage often makes a deep feeling of pain. We think that if, we're, if we frighten people away, we can avoid being hurt even more. In fact, just the opposite is the case. By covering our wounds with armor, we are preventing them from being healed. By lashing out at others, we keep ourselves from getting the love and the nourishment we need. If this description seems to fit you, it's time to stop fighting. There's so much love avail available to you if you just let it in. Start by forgiving yourself. You are worth it. Yes, you are. You are worth it. And that's exactly what I was feeling. You know, um, don't guard your heart. Don't close off. Allow. Let love in. Be open. Okay, so what is in your environment? Star card. Hope. Masculine got it in his recent past position. Wish granted. So um, this comes after a very difficult period of time. Releasing the pain um, and being optimistic. So if it's in the environment, which, you know, is an energy that's coming from the masculine. Showing you how beautiful you are. You are the star in the sky. Offering you hope. So, healing energy. Five of Wands, Devil, Four of Swords. What is going on with you, ladies? Okay, Five of Wands is conflict. Um, it is challenges and obstacles. It's people, um, you know, with differencing of opinions, but it's meant to challenge you to make you better than you are. It's a growing a growth card. Make your light shine brighter. And here, the star card. So maybe something is stopping you from fully stepping into your light to feel that light again. You know, bask in the glow of the twin flame connection. And what is stopping you? What is that challenge? It is the devil card. The masculine got that in the fear position. So there's a chain, just like the masculine. Something is stopping you. Something is preventing you from moving forward. So this is could represent, um, you know, old thoughts, old beliefs, um, a codependent relationship, an addiction. Um, so something in your 3D world needs to be released. The tower must come down. Decision needs to be made fully and once you do that then you will find your freedom and you will be on the right path so the four swords is um, meditation retreat um, stilling the mind and healing the heart in order to ground an energy in the 3d make a decision and yeah most importantly it's finding stillness and healing the heart so we got two cards that have to do with healing, and um, as well as the de devil in this challenge. So it's in your environment. Um, so you know, ultimately, you need to retreat and heal yourself, move away from uh, that chain, release yourself from the chain. What do you fear? Seven Pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> I fear this card. When this card shows up, I fear it. Definitely. So, patience and planning, seven pentacles. It's um, waiting for the return, waiting for harvest. Uh, it's also revaluation um, period as well. So, looking at your past, see where you went wrong, and then continuing to work towards the future. So, while you're waiting for the harvest, waiting for that return, um, it's a reflection. Three of Wands, um, Knight of Cups, and Nine of Wands. So yeah, I've been 
working on my cards a little bit here. Notice that the ace is a little different as well. Okay, so three of wands. This is making a decision in the past that wasn't based on fear. It was based on your highest dreams and your highest goals. So the seed, the decision was made to walk through that door towards your destiny. Uh, so an expansion of the mind, it's seeing all the possibilities. Now the three of wands is waiting for that return. So we've got a double wait here, waiting for the ships to come in, feeling successful about your decision, starting to feel see the fruits of your labor, um, being recognized for your efforts, and knowing that you're on the right track, the right path, um, but you're still waiting. Uh, the Knight of Cups is the um, knight in shining armor. He comes to offer his love, so it's courting. It's gestures of love, poetic or romantic in some way. So it's a movement forward. So you want to move forward with expressing your love or you want the masculine to come towards you uh, and sp express his love, have that new start. But uh, you're in a period of waiting and because of that fear and doubt is starting to take over. And so the nine of wands is the wounded warrior uh, feeling like you want to give up and walk away, feeling like you've been knocked down too many times. Remember, you got that in your resisting position. Uh, so you're you're feeling burdened by the weight, and uh, you fear it's never coming, that your dreams won't be manifested. Yeah, but spirit is telling you to hang in there, give it that final push. Destiny um, is calling, it's knocking at the door, position, first position with that brand new beginning. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from Call It Baron Mead for the message from the universe, stop. Solitude. Okay, 13. Did you get this last week? seems familiar. Okay. I am comfortable in my own skin as I detached to replenish my soul. Meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind of superficial thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being. This is not an advantage time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period of conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back and take your focus off your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out as you, sorry, as, ah, let me start again. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you replenish your energy by means of much needed rest and time out. Yes, okay, so that's what, you know, the hope card is, is to retreat. Same thing with the four swords. Um, it's retreating healing your heart. Don't be closed off. Still be open and allow that tower to fall down. And once it, the tower crumbles, that new beginning will happen. So very similar energy to the masculine. The readings are mirroring each other. Um, his is more of a mental prison where I mean, uh, the feminine has more to do with the, the physical. So... All right, so let me know if this resonated. Uh, I welcome all comments. I read them all. And um, thank you guys for your love and support. Much love. Peace.